So after creating the store and uh, the index reducer, uh, let's create our search uh, reducer and, and see how how things going on uh, in this uh, in the process of of uh, taking the actions and uh, and testing the action. So in our reducers uh, folder, let's create a new file. Uh, we we'll call it search reducer dot js and in the search reducer so in any reducer uh, first it tests the action the reducer is testing the action and each action has two uh, parameters uh, the first one is uh, the type which will uh, making the reducer uh, recognizing this action so the reducer is recognizing the action by its type so depending on the type it will take uh, uh, a new state and setting a new state and depending on the type of the action and the second parameter which is the payload so basically the payload is the data is coming which is coming from uh, from the action so first uh, let's create the actions and the uh, the types uh, because we are using the types inside inside your uh, inside our reducer so we need first to create the action uh, so in the source folder uh, I will create a new folder which is actions and inside actions I will, cre I will create a new uh, file uh, which is types.js uh, this will contain all the types of our uh, all the types of our actions so each type will be uh, will be a constant so uh, we to be able to use this constant outside the file we need to uh, first of course we need to export uh, the uh, the type or the constant so constant export constant uh, I will call it uh, the first type I will call it fetch or you know just a search search movie and it will be the same name search movie then in the search reducer I will import the type which is search movie and from it's inside we are inside reducer so we need to go outside and search for actions and inside actions there's types and here we go so after importing the type we need to uh, create uh, the initial states so the initial states here in our case uh, will be the states of our application so let's create the initial states is equal to so we we have in our application we have four uh, we have four basic states so the first one will be the text which will be uh, a string and the movies which will be an empty array also we have loading state and it's a boolean so uh, the default uh, the default uh, value will be false and also we have a movie so the text will be the search text uh, that the user will be uh, entering in the search box and the movies that uh, will be 
this will be set to the uh, search results, which will be the JSON data, the movies that will come from our API. We'll set them into to uh, movies. Uh, the loading, the loading uh, value will be false or true depending on uh, the data uh, that is coming of for for uh, our application if you enter uh, some search and the data is still uh, not uh, arrived from the API so we will set uh, a spinner that will uh, still loading depending on the value of the movies so if the movies is empty the loading will be will be true so the spinner will still and and uh, will will be uh, available and it will be appears instead of uh, instead of the movies so we will depend on the loading value and the movies value to uh, to control uh, the spinner display also for the movie uh, when we display a single movie we need to get that information from the API so uh, I will set the uh, movie uh, state into that uh, single movie value which is coming from the API so let's uh, test our uh, action type and uh, first we need to create a function uh, which will switch between those two which will check the action uh, type for each action and depending on the action uh, type uh, we will do uh, and we will set some uh, states uh, with the action payload which is the data which is coming that's coming from the action